what's up YouTube, it's your boy Red Dot, back with another video, um, I wanted to talk about my shitty, uh, gameplay, you know, experience, I'm a, that's what I think I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say my shitty gameplay experience, I'm not gonna say the game ass, none of that, because I didn't experience it enough, I don't think. I mean, I wouldn't even say I don't think. I'm going to say I ain't experienced enough in other people's views. In other people's view, I ain't experienced the game enough. I ain't getting nowhere. But that don't mean I can't, you know, say what the fuck is happening and what the fuck I think the problem is on why I didn't experience it yet. Gotta have that water. Are you talking? Gotta have that water. Gotta have that zen, baby. Gotta have that zen. But, um, like, as y'all see now, right? It's getting dark. I like that about the game. Like, get dark time, all this other shit. You might see a different monster, different breed or something. That's cool. But, what the weapons at? And that's going to be my main thing like that I'm going to say through this whole video. Where the fuck is my weapons? Now, when I mean weapons, I'm not talking about like, oh, just give me weapons and I'll figure it out. Nah, 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 nah. Because from what I thought was we s selected a build for a reason. I, th I thought that's what, what the whole point of the game was, was we use a build and we, we customize it the way we like it to be, right? Whatever was the uh, the front-running um, skills that they had was the skills you was most likely going to be upgrading on that build anyway. Like, for instance, I chose the Bandit because I wanted a roguelike assassin build. It ain't even nothing like that. It's not even nothing like that. What I think they really fucked up on was they made builds for no reason. They made builds for no reason. Because it's not like you got to pay to use another build. So why they didn't just let us choose our starting stats and then let us play? If if this the case. Like what I'm saying, like, all right, if I chose this build, right, why I'm not getting no weapons for this build? Why is my story not giving me no weapons for my build? But they giving me warrior weapons. They ain't got no problem giving me warrior and barbarian weapons. For some reason, I, I don't know why. I mean, look, we got short swords. I, I done sold all my shit, really. I, I done kept collecting it, selling it, collecting it, selling it. I done did a run like, I don't know, over 50 times by now. Even though I ain't really getting nowhere, be, and I'm getting to that. I'm going to get why I'm, I'm not getting nowhere. But weapons is really the main reason why I think I'm not getting nowhere. I'm not comfortable using the same shit all day. I got to use the shield. Because if I'm not using the shield, I'm going to die fast. Because I'm a fucking bandit. I don't have health. Even if I put my health up, which is vigor. It still don't mean nothing. I'ma still be dying fast because I'm a lightweight. I'm not a strength type of nigga. That's why I put my strength up at the beginning because I know it's gonna be hard to get it up later on. So I thought about it like, okay, let me attack some of the skills I I, I want now that I'ma end up trying to get later. So I put vigor, I'm gonna try to put vigor on 20, strength 20. And then I'm going to stop there for both of those. Like, I'm not upgrading no shits no more after 20. Then, then I'm just going straight arcane, dex, and endurance. That was the only three skills I'm upgrading after that. So, if I'm only, like, all right, I'm only, what, level 30 to 35, right? And they got niggas invading my world after a certain point. Like, right now. Where I'm at. Peep game. I never made it this close to this area. Like where am I at right now? 
I ain't gonna lie, I like the structural structures and shit, cause they like huge structure. Like you feel like a little nigga. <laughs> like, like damn, everything else is big except you. That's crazy. But I'm here, and this seemed like it's a hot spot for niggas to just come join your world and try to kill you. That's why I was standing here. Because every time I came over here, a nigga was just popping up in my world. Or two niggas. So soon that happened, I'm up here, right? This is like my second time being up here. Like, I just start running. I just start running anywhere, like randomly, until they just leave. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Fight them niggas? This is my thing. They, they allowing... Niggas that's way better than you. They beat the game multiple times. The new game plus 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 it. And they allow those niggas to join your world. When you're a new nigga. No experience. Did not get 25% into the game. And you can get raided by two people. Where's the fairness in that? Like, it's no option. So, I'm not speaking for niggas who, like I said, they play this game every day. They done mastered the skill sets and they know how to attack people on time and just, you know, every nook and cranny about the game. Like, they know, like, little cheesy shit that you could do to people, parries and shit like that. That right there is like, why am I facing this nigga if I didn't even experience the game yet? Like, wh why is that in the game automatically? Like, it's what I'm saying. It's not nothing I could turn off to be like, I don't want nothing to do with no nigga online. Like, what if I didn't want nobody to do nothing to me? Or I didn't want to play with nobody? That's not an option? So, let's see. Multiplayer. Nope. Not an option. Let's see. Nope. Not an option. All you do is you set a password and your friends can join faster. That's it. That's the only thing. Look. Look what it says. Look what it says. Wait, wait. Where that shit at? However, multiplayer passwords do not apply to invasions. So that means that's automatically in the game and I can't do nothing about it. I'm supposed to just be looking over my shoulder everywhere I go. I'm already doing that for my for these regular niggas. Like I got killed last night. A nigga one of these horse niggas just was running up to me and hit me one time and I died. From the back. Like I didn't even know he was coming. I just died. I was like what the fuck? Like where did he come from? Just like what I was just experiencing with this nigga. Like, how is he turning into a boss when he just was selling me stuff? Hey, what the what the fuck is that? What's the what's that difficulty? Like a boss? Like he just was selling me skills. Like, how is like I don't know how they did it. I don't know. Then everywhere I go, I go over this mountain ridge. I go over this ridge. I go over this ridge. Here go a big ass nigga just sitting there waiting for you to pop up. Just looking in the area. Just like, why do I got to keep fighting all these heavy, tough mini bosses that got bars? They got bars. They got bars, bars. Like, they, they, they not regular enemies. They bosses. Why do I got to keep fighting these niggas? Like, all throughout the whole map, that's all I've been seeing was bosses. You know, little enemies here and there. Then the enemies don't drop weapons. They just don't. Like, I've been in the same area for like two or three days, and I've got the same weapons every time. They don't drop nothing different. They're going to drop what they got. And it's going to be the smallest chance for that shit to get dropped. How is that a good game? Like, it's so small. And I think that's what Arcane is for. It got to be for the, the enemies dropping equipment more often. Like, if that's not what it's for, this game is ass. Like, it really is. 
Why do I gotta kill the same nigga like 20 times to get one axe? 20 times to get one shield. 50 times to get one weapon. Just one. How long it took... How long it niggas think it took me to get a dagger that was weaker than my original weapon that I started with? How long do I think it took me to get that weapon? A long... Almost two days. Almost two days I've been working on the same nigga like, okay, this weapon he got, it gotta be OP. He's slashing my shit up with it. He moving real fast with it. This weapon gotta be OP. Nope, it's just a ass trash ass dagger with no special ability. Where's my weapons? That's all I'm asking. I, I, I wouldn't really have no problem with nothing else if I had weapons. Like, how can I complain? I got a weapon to kill people. I don't have shit. What I got? A, a pickaxe? All this other shit that I got except for this dagger is nothing but warrior equipment. Warrior, 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 warrior. Everything I got. Warrior. Warrior. Warrior stuff. Everything I had. I had a lot of stuff, but I recently just kept selling it. Look, all warrior stuff. None of this is really roguelike stuff, like apparel a nothing. A nothing. Nothing. Just straight warrior shit. That's all it is. That's what this game really is. It's, just, it's for a warrior nigga. Like, if you want to just be the a very strong nigga with mad health and high attack and all that shit. Like, and high defense. So, basically, it's going to be a attack, defense, and health. Like, that's what a warrior is. He gonna be strong as fuck, wheeling all this shit, just lifting it all easy. He don't gotta grind nothing for it. I had to grind to 16 strength just for me to be able to wield this regular ass shield. So I won't be getting my ass molly whopped. That's all I was getting every time I had this little baby shield. What was that shield doing? I had that shit for like a whole fucking day. I didn't get no other shields, no other roguelike shields, no nothing. Where's my weapons? Where's my shit? Like, I've been looking all over the place. I look all over this bitch, all the way down here, even though it ain't got no spawn spot. I, ch I risked it to go over there, and I basically wiped the whole area, killing all those niggas. Obviously, when I got my fucking stats right. But, yeah, I done murdered all those niggas in the area. Kept going back over there just to get a dagger. Just to get a dagger. A dagger that's not strong. No special abilities. Like, do I really got to look on YouTube to get, like, a, a whole walkthrough of just where all the weapons is at? Because I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Like... I'm not about to be grinding on an enemy just to get a weak ass weapon. Like, a weak, casual, common weapon. Like, I hope, uh, th them Angry Joe niggas, like, I hope them niggas really, like, realize what this shit is. Like, it's just ass. It's, it's not good. Like, it's really not. If these niggas say this shit is good, I don't know. I mean, they, they beat the whole game and do a little bit extra before they start talking about it. So, I mean, they going to obviously have the experience. But if they say this shit is fire, definitely if they say the beginning was fire, I'm going to be like, yeah, y'all niggas got to be lying. There's no way the beginning was fire because you're not getting nothing. What did I get? From all this journey and around the whole fucking part of the map, what did I get? Nothing but a dagger. That's all I got. That's all I got. The armor I got on. This armor, it was one of these niggas that was on a horse. I'm surprised they even dropped it. And that was the only one. Everything else was too... It was like at the beginning. So it's like they purposely gave you that armor. Just... 
like I forgot what it was. Um, it was like the green and red armor. Like this warrior armor. All this shit is warrior stuff. So what is this build system doing in the game for builds just to end up being on a warrior's wave because that's the only way you're going to be able to wield weapons and strong equipment? Like, am I, am I missing something? Like, I don't know, man. I don't think I'm missing anything. I really don't think I'm missing anything because, like I said, like, all this experience... Three days is enough for me. Like, that's enough experience for me. I don't think I need more than that to be able to judge a game. Like, definitely if it's like this, like a dungeon crawler type RPG. Like, you, you run around, kill the same motherfuckers. Go to the uh, the site, your checkpoint. Spawn motherfuckers back. Kill them again. Do that and stuff like that to level up. Like, I understand that. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you're not giving me no other incentives. Like, you're not giving me no weapons, no nothing. You're not giving me shit. And I'm killing strong motherfuckers. Niggas who I just started fighting yesterday, and I'm killing them now. And I'm not getting nothing from these I'm not getting no drops, nothing. Like, how do I still got basic equipment? No dialogue, no not like I don't get a scene of nothing. I don't know. I rather uh have you know Elden Ring people comment on this video because I, I I need somebody to let me know like how do you think this game is good? Like give me some reasons on how it's good because. I don't have a reason right now. Yes, the graphics at times could be a little choppy, but it, when it's good, it's good. Like, it's smooth. It look good. And I know it damn well it probably look good. I know for a fact it got to look good on PS5 because if it looked, like, decent on PS4, it got to look good on PS5. Damn, it just got dark as fuck. Damn. Big shadows. But yeah, the structures and shit, I like those. I ain't gonna lie, them shit's pretty big. Like, it make you feel like you really exploring some shit. Cause it's like, it's not just no on your level type structure like, oh, okay, I can see it. And my, it make your character look bigger than they really is. When your character is really supposed to be this small. Like, that's how you're supposed to look towards these big ass structures like this. So, last thing I'm going to say is, like, like I hope Elden Ring, like, players could see this video and comment or whatever. Because I really need y'all niggas' perspective on the game. Like, what, like, how is this game good to you? Like, I, I and I'm not talking about no OP-ass nigga who done played. Did you beat the game more than three times? I don't think I want to really read your comment. Like, don't don't con don't try to, like, oh, I'm going to just put my shit anyway. Like, I'm going to know if you beat the game. Like, I'm going to feel your energy just based off your comment. Like, I'm going to know if you beat the game more than once. So, hopefully it's just, like, some regular casual niggas who end up seeing my shit and, you know. Give me some feedback on this game, cause where are my rogue weapons? I just want I, I don't care a fuck about no staff, no scepters. Give me my knife. That's all I want. Like if I could get a knife, I'm good. Just give me a knife. It don't even have to be a special ability knife. Just give me a knife that's stronger than the knife I got. That's it. That's not hard to do. I don't think that was so hard. Like, wow, drop a new knife. <laughs> what the hell? That's hard to do. So, hopefully, somebody can let me know how to get a knife. That's. I think I'm going to uh, name that as the title of this video. How do you get a knife? That's all I want to know. How you get a knife? Because I can't get one. So, let me, let me, let me know something. I'm listening. 
But, uh, yeah, that's all. Peace.